Hello everybody and welcome to the bonus content and unsurprisingly the winner was macro lenses so we're going to dig in a little bit into different types of macro lenses that we can use in our photography. So macro photography is all about getting in much closer to the subject and enlarging it so that it appears larger to our eyes as you can see here in this photograph of this uh, ladybug or ladybug it looks much bigger to us than it typically would if we were to see it in real Real life. This is a macro photograph. Now, quite often we will take close up photographs and we would call these macro, but really a close up photograph is slightly different. It's a close up photograph really refers to filling the entire frame with a subject and not necessarily enlarging it. You typically use telephoto lenses, you know, for getting in closer to a subject um, to, to, to create a close up photograph, but a macro photograph is enlarging that subject, um, you know, like as we can see here clearly in this shot. Now, every lens will have what's called a minimal focusing distance, okay? So, if you haven't got a dedicated macro lens, it doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to get in very close to the subject. On your lens, you may find that it has a little macro symbol. This is indicating how close you can get to your subject before the camera or the lens will not focus anymore. Okay, so all lenses will have this minimal focusing distance. If it doesn't display it on your own lens, a simple test to find out is to switch the camera, uh, the camera's lens to manual focus and get in close to the subject and see how close you can get before the lens will no longer focus. Okay, so your minimal focusing distance is how close that you can get to the subject before your lens will not focus anymore. Now, macro lenses are designed to go beyond this minimal focusing distance and get incredibly close to the subject so that we can actually enlarge them and take a closer look. Now because of this these lenses can be quite expensive. Now there's different focal lenses for these different types of lenses as well for these different types of purposes and we'll have a look at that now which focal lens you would use for which particular purpose. So Starting with a 50 millimeter, a fairly standard macro lens. The idea of a 50 millimeter is that you would use these types of lenses for photographing inanimate objects, so things like jewelry, um, you know, things like food photography, and so on. Objects where you can get in very, very close when you, you don't want to disturb them, like say insects and that as well. So with a lower focal length. It means that you will have to get in physically closer to the subject to get the macro effect. So a 50 millimeter lens would require getting in very, very close to the subject, like in this particular case, a piece of jewelry, to be able to capture it. Now, if you want, you could go with something like a 70 millimeter lens. That will give you a little bit of distance. That will mean that you can take a couple of steps back and still get in very, very close to the subject. And typically, you would use something like a 70 millimeter lens. For for doing food photography but it's not limited to that I find 70 millimeter lenses will be give you essentially kind of a best of both worlds scenario where you can photograph things like the jewelry and that but you'd also be able to photograph insects and that as well more timid and tame insects but certainly if you are really interested in doing macro wildlife, things like photographs like butterflies and dragonflies or any types of insects and so on, you are going to be looking at the longer focal lengths, like in this particular case, that Canon 100mm again, as this will allow you to maintain a distance from your subject and still be able to get very, very close to them. Okay, so this way, you know, you can photograph things like insects without disturbing them and still get incredibly detailed photographs. Now, some very specialized lenses will go even closer, like this lens here. This has um, an extreme mag magnification on it, and this goes well beyond our typical macro lenses. As you can see here, it gets incredibly close to the subject, almost to a, a microscopic level. And this is a very specialized Canon type of lens. Now, there is a huge amount involved when it comes to macro photography. 
and this really is only scratching the surface. There's so much involved that we have an entire lesson dedicated to macro photography on the Ultimate Photography Program. But I hope that this gives you a little bit more insight into the world of macro photography and I do hope that you enjoyed this bonus lesson. I'll see you all back now for your next lesson on the Diploma in Photography course. Thank you very much.